Hey guys, how we doing? Reference for Knife Sharpen. So, I've got something new for you guys today. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. I've been wondering about them, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to do a video on it. So, um, you guys know my deal with DMT. Um, if they make their product right, they are a fantastic company. They really are, but here lately in the past couple of years, they have been putting out some just uneven, you know, crap. And, you know, I've just, I've heard it repeatedly over and over and over and over. And if you've got some older DMT stuff, it's, it's probably good stuff, but I really kind of would stay away from the newer DMT stuff. It's, it's not what it used to be. Um, I was told that they was bought out by some Chinese company, so that could explain the decrease in their quality. But anyway, I can't remember who sent this to me, but here about a year or so ago, somebody sent me a link to these ultra sharp diamond plates. And I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical at first, and I was like, eh, I was like, something, something ain't right. You know, three eight by three plates for just a little over a hundred bucks. So I got to talking to people about them and researching them and everybody likes them and i'm like why not let's give it a shot so my other options after dmt was atoma which is out of the question because i don't like the way they set their stones up easy lap or these ultra sharp plates so for the price i was like why not well i had planned on getting some of these plates and just was going to get them when my DMTs wore out. So this guy got a hold of me off the channel here. Got a nice presentation here. Come in a nice little box. Very well uh, packaged. And, you know, usually you can tell by the packaging and the information on it, you know, if it's going to be a good product. Because, you know, if they're going to pack it, good then uh they probably don't skimp on quality which i'll show you what else come in one of these other ones i've opened this one up and i used it previously just a little bit but not really enough to tell about it but i have not even opened these two yet anyway there was this gentleman get a hold of me and he was like hey he's like i would like to get you one of those ultra sharp diamond plates as a thank you for your videos and you know for something to use on your channel so i was like cool he said let me know what grade you want and we'll go from there. So I told him I'd take one of the courses. You know, I'd appreciate it. Well, he sent me all three of them. Yeah, sent me all three diamond plates. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to show you how I break in my diamond plates. Now, when you get these stones, it comes with some literature. Uh, use and care of diamond stones, breaking in your diamond stones, and basic sharpening instructions, which is good. Not a whole lot of people saying things like that anymore. So, there's a few things that you can do here. It recommends to break your stones in. Use them as you normally would and break them in naturally. Uh, use a piece of hardened steel, run it over the surface, rinsing frequently. Or flatten a water stone as you normally would. This should be done under running water. It is best to continuously rinse the diamond stone during this process. All right, so I don't have a water stone. I'm not going to use a chisel. And I just want to go ahead and break them in. So I have here uh, an eBay seller, Broken Pink Soft Arkansas, which I'm still pissed off about. Yeah, another story for another time. So, when you first get a diamond stone, no matter what grade it is, it's more rough than it should be, or than it will be when you're using it. So, what we want to do is knock down all those little tall burrs, not burrs, but all those little tall spots on the stone. So, this is how I do it. Yeah. 
and you will be able to feel. It was that. There's something stuck on the stone from the factory. No biggie. Well, maybe not. I don't know what the heck that is. Hopefully it'll go away. Anyway, you don't want to do this a whole, whole lot. You just want to do it just enough to knock down all the rough spots. Listen. That little spot right there just does not want to go away. That may be a problem. Let me get my jeweler's loop out here and take a look at that. Now guys, I've never used a set of these things. Hmm. Hopefully that's something that'll wear away during uh, the sharpening process, see if I can go ahead and knock it down just a little bit. Yeah, I've got it done. I've got it down enough to where it wouldn't uh, affect the surface, not the surface, the uh, bevel of a knife. And another thing when you do this that gives you it gives you a feel for is if the surface is even. And other than that one little bitty spot right there, which will wear in, um, this is this is going to be a really good plate. I can I can feel it. Um, there's a <laughs> there's a lot more diamonds. I mean, a lot more diamonds on that than DMT. I'm not bashing DMT. I'm just simply saying, you know, I wish they would uh, bring back their old product like they, they used to have. So I'm going to go ahead and set this dude off to the side back here. Let it kind of stand up and draw off. Now let's go to the fine 600 grit. Now I haven't ever opened this, so you're going to see exactly how you'll get them if you buy a set of these. Open it up. Got this nice little plastic piece on it, which is a very nice addition to the cardboard. Good job, Ultra Sharp. Man. Man. Nice. So this one, it says that it is 600 grit. Gonna do the same thing on this one, which this one isn't really bad rough at all. Yes, it is. <laughs> I take that back. Another one of those spots. Go ahead and get that dude off there. You know what? I hope to God they come out with a lapping plate. I don't know what they have done differently here. But I'm telling you right now, it's putting a hell of a surface on this piece of Arkansas stone that I've got here. There's another little spot. My only gripe with them so far is those little high spots right there. And if you don't knock them down, your knife's edge will show it. But, I mean... For a hundred bucks, I mean, a hundred bucks is a lot of money, no doubt. But for a set of diamond plates, that's not bad at all. I'm not complaining. Go ahead and knock that down just one more time. I 
got a little bitty translucent around here somewhere if I can find it that I'd like to try on these. Yeah, I believe these stones are going to be great, guys. They really do. Whoops. Hands are all wet. All right, now let's go to our 1200 grit here. Which this is uh, extra fun. Now, I'll tell you guys something else cool about these that DMT does not offer. DMT offers an 8,000 grit diamond plate, which is extra, extra fine according to them. I had one. I didn't like it. There was like hardly any grit on it. I mean, if there was, it would, you know, it didn't do any better than the um, 1200 grit extra fine. There it is. Yeah, this one's going to need some work. Anyway, I've got off track. I was thinking about this. Extra uh, Ultra Sharp offers a, is it a extra, or no, it's called an Ultra Fine Plate, which is 2,200 grit. Yeah, 2,200 grit. And they also now, I looked at their website this morning, the Best Sharpening Stone website, um, and they also have a diamond plate past that it's 3000 grit so i would definitely be interested in trying one of the or both of those it'll be on the santa claus list i guess There's a few little high spots on these, but nothing that nothing that I would be super concerned about. Hmm. Well, looks like it's well worth the money to me. Let's try one. Get this translucent out of the way here. Let's try them out, shall we? All right, so. We'll use the same thing that I've used on them always. Hmm, what do I want to reprofile? Let's do my bench made bug out here. Well, that gum. Shit. I'll throw that in there. Where is go ahead and put this on here. Where nothing slides around on us.
damn. Guys, we have already got a burr. Holy shit. Let me work on this just a little bit more and straighten up a couple things here. Oh, I also, sorry, somebody's texting me. I also forgot to mention that they have a 100% money back guarantee. That gum. That, that, guys, that side's already reprofiled. Y'all can't see what I'm doing, my bad. Also, don't get your hopes up because I don't know yet. But, wow. Ah. You go two handed here for just a second. Sorry, guys. You know what? I could put y'all right. There, maybe. How's that? Looks better already. There we go. So, like I said, don't get your hopes up yet, but I talked to Mr. Dan the other day from Dan's Whetstones. And told him about these ultra sharp diamond stones because he does not carry diamonds currently. Um, so I'm talking to him about possibly carrying these. And if that's the case, a lot of you guys that sharpen at Dan's, well, most of you guys do or sharpen shop at Dan's, um, pretty much be a one stop shop for y'all go ahead and clean up this other side just a little bit before we move on I'm just telling you right now this course right here blows DMT out of the water Little bit more here and we'll be good to go. Technically I was done five minutes ago with this. They cut that quick. I'm freaking impressed, guys. Big time. Pull that dude off. Uh, we're going to go to the fine. 600 grit.
see how this guy does. Turn my hands off a little more. Yeah, this one right here is going to take a while to break in. I'm telling you right now, you get a set of these plates, you better be careful, because you'll run a knife in a hurry. See what we got here. Not bad for a brand new diamond plate that ain't broken in yet. All right, we're already done with that stone. Now let's go to our. 1200 grit ultra foam. Draw my hand off a little. Oh, yeah, this one's. Going to need to be broken in a lot. Oh, these things cut quick. So, they still need to be broken in, as you can see. But, I mean, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that edge right there. Not a thing in the world. Um... I know they're new and they cut coarser to begin with, but these things work exceptionally fast. I can't, I can't believe how fast some things are cutting. I don't know if DMT was just pulling the wool over our eyes for so long, or if they just, if these ultra sharp people figured out how to do something that nobody else has yet. But those stones are great. Um, so they've got my recommendation 110%. They do need a damn good break-in period, though, I'm telling you. 
that like that ultra fine right there that is not 1200 grit that is much 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 coarser uh, to begin with now we we'll have to break them things in and uh, keep using them and see what we can get so there is my first time using the ultra sharp diamond stones I am impressed so uh, y'all got any questions or comments leave them down below uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe um, and visit my patreon account if you would you guys have a good evening take her easy